Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Welcome to the Monkey Island, the Legend of Monkey Island Tall Tale. This is a complete guide for this tall tale. I'm going to show you where to get all of the combinations, and we are going to take it slow, so it will be a very easy, very easy guide to follow. We're going to start this off from the main menu. We're going to click Monkey Island, and that is going to drop us right at the tent for monkey island and we're going to go vote on the book now this tent is at every single outpost so it should be pretty easy to find but if again you're having any difficulty finding this tall tail this tent just select monkey island from the menu once you start the tall tale, there will be some dialogue and eventually the pirate lord will open the portal. That portal we are going to use to get to the famous island, Melee Island, which is where our tall tale is. Typical to other tall tales that we've done, we'll sail through the portal and it'll take us to this land. Now, eventually, Kate is going to yell at you to get the heck out of there and that is your cue to head to your ship and set sail. Upon entering the portal, it'll take you into this kind of loading area. And there is some cool lore stuff here for Monkey Island with Guy. And you'll kind of hear him right here. Wow, what an incredible end to an amazing adventure. So yeah, pretty fun. Make sure to kind of look around because you do see Guy Brush's ship. And you also get a little taste of LeChuck's ship as well. So pretty cool. I like what Rare did with this. I always love what Rare does with their environment design. So that is one of the cool things that they have with this. So enjoy this part of the tall tale and definitely make sure to have your uh, your music volume all the way up. To get there, we have to pass through the Devil's Shroud. Elaine says it's no big deal so long as we follow the map, but I don't know. I miss seeing the stars. had the nightmare again. I wake up in our cabin. Elaine is gone. And at the end of my bed, LeChuck is there, laughing at me. It's crazy, I know. I left him buried back on Monkey Island, but why does it feel so real? I can almost hear the laughter. <laughs> Eventually, it will fade to black and you are going to load into Melee Island. This is... Now, as you approach Melee Island, the dock is a little to the right. And let me just talk about something that's unique with this tall tale. You are going to be collecting a lot of pieces of eight. You're going to need these coins to get all of the combinations. So let me just recommend taking it slow. Now, I'm going to do a lot of just playthrough, allowing you to see all of the locations that I found all of my pieces of eight. Also, at the very end of this video, I'm going to break up all the memoir locations so you can find all of those in one part of the video. Also, including the last kind of off the cuff accommodation so if you follow this guide completely you will be able to get everything done for it and get this 100 so after parking your boat on the dock i just start looking through all of the boxes and looking on all of the barrels you're not sure i'm I, i'm not quite sure if it's random for each playthrough but i know for me uh this is where i found all of them and i'm just trying to show you all of the locations that they can spawn it could be random i'm not sure exactly how rare set it up but as you can see i'm just taking my time and going through all of the little nooks and crannies here
Now, after I did all of that, I'm going to enter the scum bar, which is one of the coolest taverns I think Rare has ever put together. Now, I would recommend taking your time in here, talking to each pirate. All the dialogue is really fun, uh, but right away to the right, you're going to find some pieces of eight. And that's going to be something that we're going to do a little bit later. Uh, as you can see, there's this like prompt to add uh, grog to this tankard. So we're going to get these pirates drunk and later steal more pieces of eight from them. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Try that again and you'll be joining the devil for supper. After taking a look through and talking to as many people as you want to just get that lore and that fun uh, Monkey Island kind of tie-in that Rare is really good at and Rare is kind of focused on with this tall tale. Uh, don't forget to go look at this poster and read it. That is a combination in and of itself, so make sure to grab that. After doing that, we are going to start solving this tall tale. Now, the first thing that we got to do is we got to talk to the chef. Now, the chef's going to tell us that he hired some help and there's a costume at the shop. So we are going to need to become chef's assistants. Hey, you shouldn't be back here. Can't help you there. I don't know what the delay is on course. It matters. As soon as they arrive, I... No, please, not the speech again. The mighty pirate never way anchor! Scourge of the Caribbean, terror of the Tri-Island Territories, master of a thousand insults! A man who could hold his breath for 60 minutes! Governor, Governor Guy Ross Greenwood! Ah, all that toasting of the governors made me thirsty! Time for some more grog! 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 Now, there is a commendation to getting all of the six lines of dialogue for Spiffy. So make sure to go through each one of these because this will be in segments. There's going to be certain parts within the tall tale that there's more dialogue from Spiffy. So just make sure that you get all four of them uh, at right here in this beginning part of the tall tale. So you have to come back uh, and get the rest of them later. All right. So after that, after our kind of session in the scum bar, instead of going left into the town, we're going to go right now. One thing that we did get a notification in on our book is it's talking about there is a shipping manifest, which means we got to get that crate that's in the water. I'm going to show you how to do that. But again, the pieces of eight are key in here. So I'm just kind of looking around and trying to find as many pieces of eight as possible. And they are just kind of scattered all over the place. So take your time, look around, and I'm just showing you all of the spawn locations that they can be. Again, I'm not sure if they are exactly the same or not, but I'm just showing you all the spots that I found. You will need 200 to get the book at the very end, which is one of the bigger combinations so that you can 100% this. Now, I'm going to show you how to get that crate out of the water. It's pretty simple. You're just going to use some pulleys and some things like that. So first, we got to turn the the crane over to where the box is. Then after that, you got to lower the crane into the water. And then the final step is you got to take the dive and jump on in the water. Make sure to have your sword. I'm sure you can shoot it as well. But hey, I'm not a double gunner. I'm a sword lord. That will release the crate and allow you to raise it out of the water. And once you've raced it over the water or out of the water, you got to kind of bring it over to the dock. So go back up this ladder here and move it over the dock. Yes, it does take a little bit to do this. 
Okay, now that we have it over the dock, I want you to lower the box on the dock. And you are ready to get a tool. It's You're going to need a tool to open up. The box is ready for the tool. Now, we're going to go get the tool. But before we do that, which is in the town over there, we are going to head up to Lookout Point because we need some pieces of eight. And we, uh, you know, it, we can see the lookout location. It's one of the locations that you do need to take the skull Murray, which you'll understand a little bit later, but you do need to take Murray up here later. So uh, just kind of showing you the locations, but we're going to run up the whole pathway, get to the very top, and you're going to see the lookout. And there are some pieces of eight here for you to grab. But to get them, you kind of have to do the classic pirate move of, hey, look over there. Yikes. Don't sneak up on me if you were. What should you say? Ooh, this could While be he's serious. distracted with that, snag your pieces of eight and you are in business. Now, I want I you to head know. back down to the town after this because you're done with up here at this point. Once you arrive back down, uh, if you haven't yet already, here's another election poster for the governor. Read that and get that combination if you haven't grabbed the, the one from earlier. Now we're going to go into the town. And as you can see, I am just looking around for all of the potential spots that pieces of eight can spawn. This is a pretty tedious part. I saw a lot of people kind of struggle with the pieces of eight, finding all of them. So I'm just letting this play through, showing you all the locations that I found them. Uh, and again, I don't know if it's random or not, but this is just showing you where I found all the 200 that I needed to kind of get everything unlocked. Now we are at the Citizen of Melee Island. If you notice or remember in your quest book, it says that we need to deliver whatever's in that box to this person. Just So just kind of make a mental note of that. And we are going to continue to kind of look around uh, for some for some pieces of eight because there's a lot we're going to find. So it does take some time. So take your time with it uh, or you're going to miss a piece and then you're going to get really frustrated. Now that we've canvassed kind of the street for all the pieces of eight, we're going to head into the prison, which is the last building here on the right. Uh, there's even some more pieces of eight in here. So again, just kind of keep a lookout, look in all of these places. But if you'll notice, 
right over here on the table is the hammer and we can use that hammer to open the crate so we are going to make our way all the way back to the crate and before we do that I'm just looking for more pieces of eight and we're going to head back to the crate and then open it up All right, we're back at the crate. We are gonna open this bad boy up and then take what's inside to the citizen of Melee Island. All right, once we're back to the citizen, we're gonna give it to him and he is going to give us what we need to get to the governor's mansion, which is a ticket. This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. We're gonna make our way over to this guard and we're gonna talk to him. We're gonna tell him, hey, we have a meet and greet ticket, but uh, it's going to deny us, but there's a combination in talking to this uh, to this guard. So make sure you do that. And we are on the hunt again for more pieces of eight. Now, if you kind of see in the prison, there's Otis here and there's a little notification there about uh, opening up the prison because there is a combination for the prison break. So we're gonna need to get something to open up that now. Before we go any further, let's head into the church. There are some more pieces of eight to collect in here. They are kind of hard to find, so kind of keep a close eye, especially on each pew. Uh, I did miss some in here in my initial playthrough, and I had to kind of go back and look. It was actually, I'll show it here, but the pieces of eight that I missed were in the we're in the plate at the very front of the church, so I'll show that here. But yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to see, so look in each pew and then look through all of the all of the drawers at the front. All right, we've checked every nook and corner of that church. Now we're gonna head out, go to the left, and we're gonna start going down this alleyway. We'll need to use this later for the tall tale, but for now, we're looking for those pieces of eight to kind of canvas every area, every new area as we approach it, and just to make sure that we find all of the things that we need. I keep bringing this up again because people had a really hard time uh, with finding all of these pieces. So I want to make sure that you have an enjoyable playthrough. And if Yay! you're needing to know where all these locations what, are, here hilarious? you go. Now, uh, this is going to be a spot that we will come back to later. And he's going to kind of show you uh, some stuff there with the dog. But we don't really need to do any of that right now. So we're going to leave this guy alone. And we're going to head out back to the main street and go into the shop. Now, this is kind of where we continue this story of uh, the tall tale now we need to get the chef costume like i mentioned earlier the chef's assistant's costume and we purchased that right here in the shop and you should have plenty of pieces of eight at this point to get the costume we're gonna get it we're gonna put it on and we're gonna head back to the scum bar Now, I am taking some time to kind of look around the shop. I don't think there are any coins here, but I'm not sure. So I'm just kind of looking around at all the nooks and crannies just to make sure so I don't miss anything.
All right, we're back at the scum bar and I am dressed for my new job. We are gonna head into the scum bar and get everybody drunk and make a recipe uh, and, and do some work for the chef. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how to do that. We're gonna go all the way back into the back and talk to the chef. Oh, so you finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you can make yourself useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe's on the table. We will I'm be making this break. stew. We'll need uh, we'll to make that for the dogs in the alley. But for now, what we're going to do is we are going to get some more pieces of aid. So the chef is going to waddle out, which is the best waddle I've ever seen in this game. We're going to tank our tankard out, and we are going to go get each of those people, each of the pirates in the, the scum bar here in, in the bar area. We're going to give them the special drink and they will pass out and it'll allow us to steal the pieces of eight from them you'll have to do it three times and so one fill of the tankard will be able to get each one of these pirates um passed out It did take me a little bit to get the prompt. And I noticed you had to walk right up to the NPC to get it. Now, this first pirate gave us the key to the clock tower. We'll need that later. So I'm just going to place it here on the table. And I'm going to go back to doing what any good chef's assistant would do. And that is, you know, serve the grog. Now, after doing all of that, I'm going to do what any good assistant would do, and that is I'm going to make the stew for everybody. I'm gonna follow the special kind of ingredients here, and everything is in this room. So we're just gonna dice some onions. And we're gonna take those diced onions and put them in the pot. We're gonna dice up the leek. Take it, put it in the pot. Next, we're gonna get the flour over here on the shelf uh, and the meat. So we're gonna take the meat, throw it in there. The biggest piece of meat and see if these. Okay, uh, the flour is right here. We're gonna take this, drop it in there. And now we're going to do one of my most favorite things in the whole entirety of the seas. We are going to fish because one of the ingredients that we need is a red herring. So we're going to get our fishing pole out and we're going to go to the back here and catch our red herring. Out 
After catching our red herring, we're going to take this fish and throw the fish in the pot. Perfect. Now the last ingredient is the root beer sprinkles. So we're going to take that and we're going to throw that in. And it's going to create for us the perfect stew. The root beer stewed meat. Very good. Now, before you leave here, make sure to open this cupboard and check for pieces of eight. Perfect. Now that we've cooked this bad boy up, we're going to take this hunkin' piece of meat. Now, you think this would go to the doggo that is in the scum bar, but you are wrong. This bad boy goes to the poodles. Now, once we've arrived here, we're going to feed it to the poodles. They are going to eat it, and, well, you're just going to have to see what happens. Well, now that the poodles have done what only poodles can do with root beer stewed meat, we have this body. And if you walk over to it, you'll see that we are needing to add some bones to it. And there's also these pair of gunpowder gummies and more pieces of eight. So we're going to get all of those things and we are going to head to the next thing that is on our list. So we have to go back to the prison and break out Otis because we need Otis's coconut to make out a switch over in the scum bar with Murray, the skeleton on the wall. Now, once we place the gummy bear exploding thingamabobs into the place, we have to go back to the shop and get some fuses. Now, if you've been doing all of the pieces of eight kind of looking, you should have plenty to pick these bad boys up and break Otis out of prison. Now, Otis is going to have a falling out with Mr. Coco, the coconut, and that will allow us to pick him up and use him later. But one of the combinations was to break him out. So here's a combination right here called Prison Break. Now that we have Captain Coco, we need to start putting together the skeleton guard body with our friend Murray, which is the skeleton. So we're going to use Captain Coco later, but for now, I'm going to go into this cell and I'm going to grab the arm on the wall and I'm going to take that arm all the way to the body and place it on the body. So we need the left arm, the right arm and a femur bone, which is what the dog has in the scum bar. After placing the skeleton arm in there, I'm going to go back, grab Captain Coco, and go all the way back to the scum bar. Once we've arrived here, we're going to walk over to the fireplace and switch out Murray with Captain Coco. Hey, what are you doing? I was just getting comfortable. Although, 
If this is about getting the three wood, I'm in. Now, remember that key that we got from earlier? We need to go do something with the clock tower. So we're going to leave Murray, who honestly is quite hilarious and has some pretty great dialogue. We're going to leave Murray here in the scum bar, take the key, and go to the clock tower. Once we have arrived to the clock tower, we're going to use the key to open the door, get all the way up, and we're going to find the other arm for the skeleton body that we need. And we're also going to find a uh, the way to turn the clock to midnight, which will allow us to get to uh, the mansion. Now, there were some pieces of eight in here when I came in here for the first time, so make sure to kind of look around for any that might be on this table or any other place. Uh, but if you look up at the clock, you'll notice right here that there is a skeleton arm jammed in there. So we need to get that bad boy out, and we need to come to the wheel and turn this all the way over to the midnight hour. Once we've done that, the bell will ring. We'll get a notification that we got that combination completed. And we're going to take the arm all the way back down to the body and place it onto our skeleton friend. Now that is done, we are going to head all the way back to the scum bar where we left our Murray friend, the skeleton head, on the table. Now we still need that femur bone, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to stop at this citizen of Melee Island, grab this cute monkey toy, and take this toy to the dog so that we can get the femur, uh, the femur bone from him. Now, once we get back to Spiffy, just for one more time's sake, I'm going to read through the all, all the, the command prompts here, all the chat prompts, just to make sure I get those because we do need to read uh, all six for accommodation. So just kind of make a note of that. Once you uh, did that, though, give the toy to the dog. He's going to give you the bone, and you're going to give the toy to the dog, and he's going to be very happy about that. And he is going to give you that bone and you need to go take that back to the skeleton now before you leave though make sure to talk to the dog one more time now it did take a second for the dialogue uh kind of needing to finish from these pirate leaders so once they're done talking you should be able to talk to the dog one more time and that will give you your fifth uh chat dialogue with spiffy so that's perfect we need one more and we're going to do it at the very end once that's done, we're going to take the bone all the way back to the body and place it on the body. Perfect. All right. Now, everything is ready except for the head. Now, before we put Murray on the skeleton body, we need to take Murray to a bunch of locations around Melee Island. So this is where it kind of got weird. It doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Uh, you have to take him to nine locations. And one of the locations was the scum bar, which I thought was weird. So you actually had to take him out and take him back in. Uh, anyways, it, there's some tips I have for kind of completing this. But the first location I ended up taking 
Marie Chu was all the way to the very top, which is the lookout, uh, which is at the lookout location. Now, something I discovered is you can't be holding out Murray with your hand, otherwise it will bug. So just kind of just hold him in your hand and don't put uh, the, like right trigger or, or left trigger or anything like that. But uh, the key to kind of figuring out if you did it correctly is uh, he will start dialoguing. So you got Murray uh, or you got Murray with you. You got to go all the way to the top of lookout point you gotta walk through the streets here kind of see citizen you gotta go to the tower here is another location why did you carry me to this and every time it it prompts hey, it will he, he will talk so we're gonna take him to the shop gives me an evil idea if you can oh, get me there. a new body, That's it, I could pretend to be one of them and sneak. So when I was doing this for the first time, he was talking about kind of the next like next thing that we need to do for the tall tale. Hmm. So he actually Almost didn't the prompt way. the first time I walked into the shop. So I had to wait for him to finish, you and then I walked back in. I kneel before Murray, the demonic talking skull. And I had to do this a few times. So into the shop we went, then we went to the church. Uh, but before we went to the church, we went to the back alley just to confirm. And he does some talking here Say, around his body, giving you the clue like on what we needed to me. do. Why not let me take it for a test drive, and I'll get you to Guybrush. So we're going to go take him to the church. Did you take a wrong turn Perfect. back there? And I wasn't sure if this was the right dialogue, so I actually like really wanted to make sure. And one of the ways that you can do that is you can kind of just check each location off. But I did walk well, back in to just here. to make sure. Now we're gonna head to the prison. I just read about this place in Hangman's Digest. Now, the last two locations are back at the scum bar, and I did miss them, so I had to kind of go back to them. Um, but the scum bar we had to walk into. I used to enjoy a grog or two, but now it goes straight to my head. So that one is completed, and the last one for me was actually right here to the right of the scum bar on the dock. I heard a ship got burned to ashes here. I wish I could have seen it. So there you go. Those are all the locations. Now, once you've done that, head back to the body, place Murray on the skeleton, and he's going to stand up and he's going to At go last, pretend to be the guard so that you can oh, kind of get through oh, and get to the mansion. Ah, ah. Easy now. It's uh, been a while since I had limbs to worry about. All right, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's get you into that mansion. Now you're going to follow him. He's going to do this super weird walk, uh, and it's going to take forever, but now, just follow him all the way to the guard. He's going to talk to the guard, and he's going to convince him to let you through. Well, that about does it for my shift. You know what to do. Keep everyone out of the mansion at all costs. No exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Do I tell you how to do your job? You okay, Walt? You sound weird. Oh, uh, yeah, it's um, allergies. You know, from the pools. Oh, right. Stupid mutts almost took a bite out of me last week. Our diabolical scheme is working perfectly. Get up to the mansion and find Threepwood. I'll keep watch. What are you waiting for? Go find Threepwood. Upon entering the mansion, which uh, we are nearing the end of this tall tale, but upon entering the mansion, we are going to look around for more pieces of it because there is quite a bit here. So kind of look around, keep an eye out. I found some over here uh, on the table, but I'm just kind of looking around, taking my time. You don't want to miss any of them because it is a pain to kind of go back and look for them. 
Um, but yeah, there are some memoir locations I'm going to get to in a little bit. I just want to show all those in one spot, and that'll be at the very end of the video. So there's some 35 pieces right there, and I'm going to keep looking around. Now that I've thoroughly looked around, it's finally time to go talk to Guybrush. And we're going to basically bust down this door. So you're going to have this prompt a, a few times on the door until you bust through and talk to Guybrush. I told you no more autographs. Leave me alone. Would you be quiet? My wife is sleeping. Lutikins, we have company. They must want to hear all about your courageous deeds. Oh, but honey pumpkin, I'm busy with my memoirs. I can't be disturbed or I'll miss my deadline. Now, now, we mustn't be rude. And look, they have a beaten Greek ticket. Oh, all right. Welcome to the official Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet event. Your once in a lifetime chance to hear all the seafaring adventures of the mighty pirate Guybrush Threepwood. Straight from the legend himself. After some dialogue, he is going to take a sip of grog and he is going to pass out. You're going to use this time to look around and find more pieces of eight. They are, again, ridiculously hard to find and it's one of the more frustrating parts of the tall tale. But if you just take your time and go slow, you should find all that you need uh, to complete all of the accommodations for this tall tale. Now we're going to go into this next room. After looking around, we are going to walk over to the bed and pull it back to <laughs> reveal monkeys, a note, and a key that will unlock the chest at the end of the bed. Now this next bit is a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of show you and it is for accommodation. Uh, so just kind of make sure that you get all of the skeletons, but you should have plenty, but we're gonna open up this uh, this chest and grab ourselves some root beer. Now, as you can see the instructions here, one is going to shake the bottle up and the other one will spritz it or stream it out uh, onto your enemies. So we're gonna get this root beer ready to go shake that bad boy up and we're gonna head out to find lechuk well well what have we here an unwanted intrusion into my masterful delusion now after lechuk does dialogue we are going to go fight some skeletons in probably one of the best ways i could possibly imagine and that is with root beer make sure to get all of them because they are you do need these for accommodation and there should be plenty of skeletons for you to get
Now that we have completed all of the skeletons or, or, or taken care of all of the skeletons, we now have the mojo shop opened up. And with that, I'm just going to look around. I don't think I needed any more pieces of eight at this point, but uh, I did miss some. So I was still missing some uh, uh, from my walkthrough when I originally played. So I think I was missing five at this stage. So I was still kind of keeping an eye out. And I don't know if any can spawn in here, but I believe by the time you get to the mansion, you should have all 200 pieces that you need. Anyways, after looking around for a little bit, you're gonna take that root beer bottle and you're gonna place it inside of here. And it is going to spawn in Corinna. The Chuck has withdrawn, and Root Beer has rid this place of his evil influence. The power of Mojo can return at last. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Melee Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. Now, before we leave Melee Island, we need to get all of our combinations. So there's a couple that we got to get really quick. First, we got to go back to Spiffy the dog to get our last dialogue from him. Perfect. Next, we need to sit down at one of these tables and get a combination for that. And last but not least is all of the memoir locations throughout uh throughout melee islands so i'm going to show you the location of each and every single one now they are uh kind of easily visible by these little ink things uh, as far as the spots that you need to sit you can kind of see a little ink next to the the spots that you need to sit so uh we started in the scum bar that was the first one we're going to head directly out on the other side of the strobe boat is another one Then we're going to come over here and we're going to grab the next one. After we grab that one, we're going to head into town and the on the other side of the citizen of Melee Island. There's one over here on the barrel. This After that, we're going to head back up to the clock tower and we're going to do some parkour and get to the next spot. After we've completed this one, we are going to jump down and go into the prison. After that one, we are going to go to the shop. Ahoy there, fancy pants. And then we're going to head over to the mansion. There's one on the inside here and on the outside. So one's right here. And then one's on the inside. Now, the last one for me was the one in the alley. I actually forgot about this one. So I had to run back to the alley. And for me, this was my final location. Now, at it's this alleyway. point in the tall tale, you should have 200 pieces of eight. So run back to the citizen of melee and pick up your history book. This should be the last commendation for you outside of completing the tall tale. So once you pick this thing up, make sure to check your commendations uh, and make sure you if you followed this guide completely, you should have everything that you see here completed. And all you need to do now is go back in and talk um, to the lady in the in the potion shop and she's going to take you out of uh, out of melee island now one thing that was kind of cool about this history book 
is if you kind of read through it, it tells you more of the lore for Monkey Island. So for everyone who played it, you're going to love that. And for all the new people like myself, who's never really played the original games, it's kind of a, a cool way to kind of get the history um, of it. And it does set it up for the next uh, for the next tall tale. So once you completed that, you're going to talk to her and she's going to send you home. There's going to be some dialogue and it will fade to black and she's going to kick you the heck out. A cage crafted from his own vanity and given life by the sea of the damned. If you've done everything correctly, you will have completed your tall tale, the journey to Melee Island. This uh, should be completely done for you at this point if you followed my guide uh, completely from the beginning to the end, and you will see all of these combinations pop for you. And that's it. I thought this tall tale was really awesome for someone who's never played the Monkey Island tall tales, or, or sorry, the Monkey Island games. I thought it was a really cool kind of introduction to what those games are. And I thought like Rare did a great job with the island and, and the environment. I always love what Rare's done. So uh, after I walked through this and completed it, I just verified that everything was completed and it was and as soon as i was back into the sea of thieves a fort of fortune pops so i did what any reasonable pirate would do i brought up the anchor set sail and had myself another little thieving adventure if you like this video and want to catch the next two uh make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when i drop those guide videos too and again uh i did the original pirate's life tall tales and i got some feedback to kind of let the gameplay breathe a little bit so people can really see where i am and where i'm going because some people got confused so hopefully you guys like this kind of extended playthrough of the tall tale and thank you for watching i hope you'd enjoyed it